So now that we've had one or two frosts, the leaves on all of the trees are starting to change to their autumn colours and I suspect this will be my last glimpse of autumn in the UK. I'm going away for a couple of weeks to Spain and I think probably when I get back we're going to find that all of these leaves, despite their vibrant colour now, have gone completely. So I'm kind of going to miss peak autumn here in the UK but uh, I'm going off to have a bit of a travel in Spain so hopefully we'll see some interesting things there. So these are Sharon fruit or persimmons, but when, if you try to eat them when they're like this, you find they're really, really bitter and astringent. So what we have to do here at the, shop, at the market, if we have a look around the back here, they've got some that are just really, really nice and ripe. And so these, this is a ripe one and it's almost too soft to handle. It's almost bursting. And some of these here, look, that's going to be delicious but you're going to have trouble getting that home because it's so soft and ripe. And so we bought a couple of these, we'll take them back home and we'll give them a taste. Okay, so this is the khaki fruit that we bought at the market and it's split actually on the way home. It's that ripe that it's actually split open in the bag. So we're going to cut it in half, doing this kind of one-handed. And you can see that the flesh inside is really juicy and, and moist. And see if I can do, actually do this one-handed. I'm just going to take a spoonful of that flesh there. Thanks, Mum. Okay, so here we go. That's that's what it looks like when it's ripe. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. No bitterness, no astringency. It's just really sweet, juicy fruit. Delicious. So that's what to look out for when you're buying persimmons. And actually, until they're squashy and almost rotten, they almost seem like they're going to go off. They're just not worth eating until they are literally that ripe. And But when they are, it's this juicy, gelatinous, sweet flesh. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is great, Marlott. Somebody's thrown a little chunk of bread in the water and this is just a little harbour that's teeming with grey mullet. Yeah. Just notice one of my videos is trending, the one about the fake USB stick. Now some of you subscribed on the basis of watching that video and I did promise you that I'd show you a different shirt. This is the one you saw in the video and it's a very beautiful shirt. However, there are also others. I think I might have worn this one in the walking spoon video, but maybe not. But this is the latest one. And so this is one of my very latest shirts made again from a duvet cover. I think we got that duvet cover from Dunelm, and I really like that pattern. Purple's a lovely colour, and that's a lovely shirt. It's a bit too wet to go out today. We are in Spain, but it's autumn. And so, so we've been out to the shops, and I picked up this. Fish snacks. Not weird stuff in a can, because it's not in a can at all. And 
Well, it was with all the people snacks as well. I did at first think maybe this was supposed to be something you feed to fish rather than made of fish that you feed to people. But it was with all the crispy pork rinds and things like that. And what it appears to be is chili dusted fried cod skin. So let's open that up and have a look. So ingredients are cod skin, natural spices, high oleic sunflower oil and salt. So it's crispy fried fish skin. What's not to like? So let's open that up. Okay, that goes there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well there they are. Don't they look delicious? I mean, they do look delicious, but when you consider that they are fish skin. Yeah, and that smells like fish food. That smells like the stuff that you feed to aquarium fish. Oh well, let's dive right in with a regular size one. Give it a taste. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. It's very fishy. But it's crispy. And I imagine that would go down really well with a cold beer. So yeah, I guess this is pork scratchings for pescatarians. Quite nice. Surprisingly nice, and actually it's growing on me. So I'm in Spain for the next two weeks. There'll be a bunch of videos. There'll probably be a couple of episodes of Weird Stuff in a Can with some peculiarly Spanish food that I've managed to find in canned form here in Spain. But we'll do some walkabout videos. We'll have a look at the, the flora, and if we're lucky, the fauna of southern Spain. Maybe we'll do a bit of beach combing and a few other things as well. So stay tuned for more interesting videos based here in Spain over the next two weeks. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.